Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so this is going to be your Money Matters reading, okay? All right, this uh, will not resonate with everyone. Please check what fits, leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted. And if you like how I get on with my readings, please hit that like button for your girl. But keep in mind that this is not a personal reading, sweetheart. So um, a lot of things will not resonate with you, okay? So if you're more interested in what's going on with your energy personally, you can always book a reading with me. If you're interested in with <laughs> in booking with me, please look in the description box for the link to my website in the notero1122.com, okay? All right, so let's get into this. All right, so Cancer, it looks like you are in manifestation mode. Sweetheart, we are always in, um, we're always manifesting something. All right, so um, pretty much it is you reap what you sow. Whatever karma that you put out there, you get back. Although, you know, I always put it like this, the infinity loop of karma, okay? So you put out whatever energy, it gains momentum and comes back and gets you, okay? So... With that being said, it looks like you have sown some great seeds and you are about to reap the harvest, okay? And that is the name of this card, Harvest. All right, so let's see. All right, so it says, give thanks, you are being blessed. It is harvest time. Pay attention. A season of great harvest is a season of great epiphanies. You are prospering. Harvest is when you reap the blessings that you have sown. The harvest is not just fulfillment of your dreams, but the creation of them. Your thoughts, your imagination, the blessing of you being here another day on this earth. That is all harvest. What seeds of generosity, love, support, and goodwill can you sow in your community to create a bountiful harvest for all? And the goddess declaration is we are all prospering. So yes, we're all prospering one way or another and at one time point in time or another okay but this is your season right here okay so it looks like uh there's a lot of stuff going on here um first of all someone may be sitting on some gifts talents desires dreams and hopes um that they haven't really put forth effort into it looks like someone here might be a little bit intimidated uh by what's going on here Fear of failure, but failure is not an option, sweetheart, unless you don't try. Uh, if things don't go your way the first time, that means that you just need to tweak something, okay? Maybe, you know, add something, take something away, uh, focus. And as a matter of fact, this is one of your cards that says, focus, don't give up now, all right? So I love that. That's telling you to stay the course, whatever you're doing is actually going to work out for you. And it says, you're being given a chance to do something over again. What will you do differently? Okay, so yeah, this might be your second go around with a situation here or a creative project. And um, what I would suggest is that you don't rush into it. Take your time, plan carefully, figure out what it is that exactly that you want to do. Take that one thing and own it. Okay, um, pretty much focus all on that one project. You might have several different things that you want to get going, but um, if you, you know, put do a little bit here, do a little bit there, do a little bit here, nothing really gets accomplished on time, okay, or within a specific time frame. So just figure out one thing that you want to do, focus on it, and like I said, um, make it your baby. You cherish it. You pour all of your energy into it, okay? So that would focus and don't give up no matter what it looks like. Just keep going the course, keep going the course. Things might be going a little bit slow for you, but you are going to reap the harvest here, okay? It says you must do the thing that you think you cannot do. So have faith in yourself, sweetheart, okay? Um, like I said, I think someone here may be getting a little bit intimidated. However, you know... Um, you got to keep forging forward, okay? Uh, some of the greatest companies, the, the greatest artists and things like that actually prospered in, in spite of their fears, their doubts, because they didn't give up, okay? And I think this is what's happening for you. 
you're basically sowing some great seeds right now and source is about to drop some blessings on you okay so whatever this fear and doubt is it's kind of like to me you have your hands clutched around like oh my god is this gonna you know fail am i not gonna be able to do this open your hands and release that negative vibe okay all right, so it says, do not psych yourself out. Don't set yourself up for failures. Think positive. Attract money. Nurture your thoughts here. Yes, okay, so we want to put our good vibes into the universe, all right? Also, um, learn everything that you can about your craft, what it is that uh, you need to know. And also, if you have some mentors that are doing the same thing that you're doing, you know, you might want to reach out, collaborate, okay? Because you do have the lovers here, and I do believe that this is someone that is actually going to come to your aid when you need them, okay? A good partnership here. And it definitely has something to do with your occupation here. There may be a need to travel. Also, um... You may be talking to people or consulting with people that are at a distance with you. And then also with this uh, journey here, there's a number 10. So there may be a cycle closing out in your life. So there may need to be a door closed here so that you can, you know, move forward into the next step in your life. Okay. Or the next step in this endeavor. So in other words, some of you might be working for someone else, thinking about stepping out on your own. And there's a need to actually release one thing that, you know, release that job so that you can do your your uh, project full time. And there may be a bit of hesitation about it. OK, the only thing is, is that I can say is that uh, make sure that you have your ducks in a row. Make sure that you got your savings together and those things like that. So you will have some financial resources to fall back on. OK. All right. And then plan for the unexpected. OK, so. That's another thing that you have to do. All right. And it says raise your, vibra your vibration. Uh, you raise your vibration and attract opportunities when you love your life and enjoy each day to the fullest. So no matter what it looks like, even the, you know, the hustle and bustle, the late nights and all that, you know, enjoy what you do, especially if you're being an entrepreneur. You know, this is this is your thing, sweetheart. This is you. You know, so even though sometimes it might be a little bit frustrating, whatever this is, just keep doing what you're doing, sweetheart. Just, you know, don't give up on yourself. That's the main thing. Don't worry about people coming to you. You're going to attract people to you, especially when you keep your vibration high and remain positive about what it is that you do. And especially if you love it, you know, um, you're pretty much not doing this for other people. You're doing it to fulfill your own heart. All right, your own dreams, your own desires. All right. And then it says, let's see, you're definitely going to get rewarded uh, for your recognition. You'll possibly, you know, stand out amongst the crowd um, for what it is that you do. Like I said, own your craft, sweetheart. OK, because you are going to get recognition and reward for this. And um, like I said, you know, it's, it's going to pay off for you. All right. So let this happen. And let's see, it says invest, invest in your, I'm sorry, invest in yourself to learn the skills you need to create a thriving business that grows wealth for you. Now, everybody is out here is not trying to be an entrepreneur, but uh, for those of you that are wanting to advance in your careers, you know, kind of climb the ladder in, in the corporate area or whatever, learn everything that you can, you know, um, be open to you know, learning different departments and things like that. Some people go into a job and they only want to do what is their job. You'll hear a lot of people say that, oh, you know what? That's not in my job description. Me personally, I've always been the type of person that has been open to learn different things and uh, also help out where um where it's needed you know if i finish my work um fast or whatever it is i'm done I'll, I don't have nothing to do i can't stand to sit there and be bored first of all but i'll go and volunteer you know to help my coworkers out or whatever it is that needs to be done ask the supervisor hey do you have anything that needs to be done and they'll say oh well you know i got to do this but that you can't you know do that hey show me how to do it you know be open to that because you never know that kind of opens up doors for you. I know it opened up many doors for me by allowing me to be um, 
<laughs> a newbie, maybe there for a year or two or whatever, and I got pulled on special projects and things like that when I was working for the county, which is really cool, you know, and a lot of people aren't open to doing things that are outside of their job description. Learn everything that you can learn, sweetheart. You never know. You may not use it in that position where you are, but you might be able to use it somewhere else, okay? Or And even help other people that, you know, might need some assistance. So you always get good karma back for that as well. All right, and it says creative expression. Your song, oh, your song, your soul longs to express itself creatively. All right, so like I said, you know, some of you are amazing artists, you know, whether you know it or not. You might do things with your hands. You might paint, draw, sing, whatever it is that you do, sweetheart. Um, you may even speak eloquently, you know what I mean? And other people are drawn to that. You may not see, um, how can I say, you know, you might give somebody a compliment, you know, and, and hey, you know, I really love that and blah, blah, blah. It's really cool. And they'll they'll look at you and say, you know what? I don't see it. It's not for you to, to see, sweetheart. You're giving this gift and talent for others to enjoy, okay? You have a passion inside of you, something that you love to do, but others are the ones that are supposed to appreciate it, you know, get more appreciation out of it than what you do. Your art, your your voice, your your spirit, your willingness to help others is what, you know, first of all, it, it actually helps make you. And also, it um, it's what you're here for, okay, to give back to others. We're not only here for ourselves, we're here for others. And you'll hear other people all the time that will actually look at somebody else's piece of art and, you know, oh, yeah, the, well, the brush strokes and, you know, they mean this and they mean that and everything and you're back there looking at this person like, you know, I was just painting something, you know, but you never know what you're pouring inside of somebody else. So be creative and just express yourself. OK, sweetheart, and be OK with it. It says I do not compromise my values. Yes, stay true to yourself. If it's something that you don't believe in, don't go for it. OK, if you feel like you're settling for less than what you deserve, sweetheart, then stick to your boundaries. OK, it is what it is. In other words, if you're putting your art out there and you feel that it's worth such and such, you know, keep up to your price. You know, don't don't, um, you know, lower your standards and your prices for someone else. OK, don't let anybody else downplay your art and whatever it is that you do. OK, and it says challenges. Take time out from problems or conflict and approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Yes. Yeah, so. If you feel that you've hit a brick wall, all right, and you're like, you know what, I have just, I'm frustrated, I've had it, I can't, you know, I have a block here, in other words, write a block, create a block, whatever it is here, um, you're kind of fed up with the job, okay, before you just like, you know what, F it, I'm done, take a step back, Wusa, breathe. Go spend some time in nature. You know what I'm saying? Pray about it. Meditate about it. Step back for a minute, okay? Um, from experience, okay, sometimes we're like, you know what? I'm done. Throwing the towel. And then you kind of look back after things kind of calm down. It's like, ooh, maybe I should have did that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but So just be patient with yourself. Uh, be patient with others. And also, you know, like it says, you know, if you got to take a moment to step back from the situation, then do so. Do what's best for you. And if you're in a job or a situation where you're not being fulfilled, you, there's no soul food there, you're not elevating, you're not, you know, there's no chance for for growth here, sweetheart, and you feel anxious and you, the people are getting on your nerves and you don't fit in with the, with the crew, um, we're not there to fit in, sweetheart. First of all, you're there to do your job, get paid and go home. OK, but however, there's um, places that you can actually work and you walk in the place and all of a sudden you can get in the parking lot and your whole spirit is just like, oh, my God, I just I can't. I can't today. Sweetheart, don't give up because that's your means of support right now. Start looking for something else, because sometimes when you get those that kind of like, OK, I'm so over this place. Sometimes that spirit telling you, you know what, 
there's a cycle that's getting ready to shift here and I'm trying to push you into another area. Okay. We, what you had going on right here is enough. This season is closing out. So be ready for change. So maybe it's time for you to start looking for something else, something that's more fulfilling, something that brings more money. There's a, a room for growth there, prosperity. Okay. So just keep that in mind. And then also, it's a time for healing. For those of you um, that have gone through some things, maybe you've tried some creative things on your own and it didn't work out, you got discouraged and you kind of put it on the back burner or whatever, sweetheart, it's time to heal that, okay? Get rid of that disappointment, that that um, fear, that doubt, whatever you got going on, sweetheart, and put it to the side. Get back on your J-O-B and do what you need to do because the energy is gaining momentum and it's time to take action here. So, like I said, you're about to reap the harvest, some abundance here, all right? And it's whatever you're putting your energy into, you're going to get back. So, make sure that it's positive. If you guys are out there, you know, um, I don't know why I keep saying artists, but for whoever this is, you work with your hands or it's something, maybe you're into graphic design or whatever it is that you're doing. Now's the time for you to put your plan into action and put your products and stuff out there. Okay, sweetheart, if you're on a job, now's the time for you to start looking for what it is that you want. If you're dissatisfied where you are, now it's time for you to start planning to move up the ladder. Okay, secure your bag, do what you need to do. Okay. All right, so let's get into the tarot because I know y'all tired of me talking. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what the tarot says. All right, let's see. Yeah, some of you are actually walking away from something else, okay? Walking away from something that's not fulfilling you, okay? Taking a, that leap of faith, trusting that things are going to work out on for your highest good, okay? So that's a good thing here. I like it. Let's see. Invest in yourself. Yes. Investing in a new opportunity as well. All right. Maybe in your head about it, but that's okay. It's all right. Take a break. Don't rush into it. Make a plan, a solid plan, okay? And just prepare for little hiccups on the way. Not saying that they will happen, but it's better to be prepared for something that may happen than to not be prepared and be shocked. Okay, all right, so let's see. What do we got going on? Ooh, go after your passion, that drive. Yes, I like it. I like it. All right, there, oh my goodness. But see, check this out. Check this out. There may be competition in whatever it is that you're doing, sweetheart, but it's not going to stop your money, okay? There's victory and success here. You are going to be recognized by many, okay? And not being funny, some of you have already started putting a little bit out here, a little bit there, you know, sharing your gifts and talents and things like that. Um, what you don't know is, is that you may not be getting the sales that you want yet, but you're being recognized. They're watching. Okay. So people are like, you know, damn, you know, cancer's got it, got it, got it going on over there. I, I kind of like that. You know, Ooh, I want to buy that right now. I might not be able to afford it right now, but when I get my bag up, I'm going to cancer because they got something that I want. Okay. And not only that word of mouth. Okay. So that's a beautiful thing and put your stuff online. All right. So let's see. Also, for those of you that are working a job here, yes, yeah, celebration, okay? Celebration. You might be investing in a situation right now. You might be spending pinnacles, you know, that you kind of feel like you don't have to invest. But, sweetheart, keep going. Keep going. Don't, don't break yourself, okay, to where you're scraping and all this other stuff. Be smart. Be money-wise, okay? See if you can get a small business loan or something like that to help you out. See if you can find some investors to help you out, okay? But sometimes when you invest, you know, what little you have, especially when it's on faith, you know what I mean? You got that little, what, $200 that you, you know, you, you want to invest in yourself, sweetheart? Trust me, that little $200 can turn into $2,000 real quick, okay? So take that leap of faith. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. 
But anywho, I'll keep going. It'll probably come back to me. All right. So I do see a lot of celebration here going on. Yes. And you are being viewed as competition. Okay. You might feel that it's a struggle. People are trying to stop, you know, stand in your way and things like this, sweetheart. The thing is, is like I said, prepare for the unexpected. This doesn't necessarily have to be people and things like this. It could also be financial situations that arise unexpectedly, okay, with that five of pentacles. So prepare for the unexpected. It may not go as fast as you want, but the thing is, is that take your time in this situation, okay? There may be some people that are trying to stop you from getting this bag right here, all right? Viewing you as competition because you're coming up in the world and you're getting a lot of recognition. The thing is, is that don't worry about what other people are doing, even though they're paying attention to you. Just keep it pushing. Keep it moving, okay? All right. So, and don't worry. Don't fret. What's for you is for you. Just believe that, yes. Didn't I just tell you you're being watched? <laughs> also, learn everything that you can learn about your craft, all right? And what makes you happy? There's definitely forward movement. See, someone here definitely might want to partner with you because they are watching you do your thing, believing in what you're doing, and possibly in sheer amazement, like, damn, I didn't know that cancer had it going on like that. You know what I mean? Cancer's been sleeping on themselves, you know? So, hey, let me uh kind of collaborate. And then on top of that, these obstacles and roadblocks that seem to pop up out of nowhere, that little snake right there, all right? There may be someone who is actually watching you that can help you jump this hurdle here, all right? <sighs> so, yeah, there's that. And I honestly see communication coming in here, too. And uh, I think... Whatever this is or whoever this is, you're about to surpass your own expectations here. You definitely got some blessings coming. You may be worried about this situation here, all right? Stepping into this new um, this new endeavor, but just think about it, sweetheart, okay? Anything worth having is worth working your ass off for, okay? So just put in the effort. This is something that you love, something that you're going to enjoy. You're going to reap the rewards, okay? So just be patient with yourself. Wait for your ships to come in. Your time is actually coming, and it's closer than what you think, okay? But just look forward towards the future. Yes, things are going to balance out. Be patient, okay? Just be patient. It's coming. Let's see. Give me... Four more so I can get up out of here. I'm not going to do these because these are not. Let's see. I'll do these. Yeah. Give me four of the cancer. Whatever you do, don't give up on yourself. Don't shy away. Like I said, even if this is in the workplace, you stand out. You stand out from amongst the crowd, and you are being noticed here. So just be willing to step off into something new, okay? Woo, what did I tell you? Eight of Pentacles work. Mm-hmm. Yes, sweetheart, sweetheart. <laughs> Look, keep working towards what you want, okay? Rebuke that negative energy and those negative people, okay? You're going to actually have to keep your, your energy field clear. Also, keeping at bay other people that are trying to bring that, that negative energy towards you, okay? And also, um, you may actually have to, like I said, um, leave some things behind. Some, I definitely some negative mindset and also doubt, fear, and these things here. And also, the um, healing things from the past, okay? Um, if things didn't work out for you before, you're given a second chance to do something that you, you know, that you've done before. Do it differently, okay? 
So there's some things that you're definitely going to have to cut out, possibly some people too. And you're learning things here. All right. Seeing the truth about people in your life, in uh, your work area and things about that. And you're also learning things about yourself as well. All right. So make a decision to move forward and to be happy. All right. Because sweetheart, your wish fulfillment is right here. Bring balance into this situation. Yes, 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 yes. The Hierophant. Be committed. All right? Be committed to go after your desires, your dreams. After all, you're not here just to work, pay bills, and, you know, parent and, and those type of things here, sweetheart. You're here to actually enjoy your life and also give back to others with whatever talent and gift that you were here, uh, sent here with. We all have it. It's just that... Some of us haven't tapped into it yet, and we don't know what it is, but now it's time to discover exactly what you're here for, okay? All right, my love, I'm sorry this took so long, but yeah, this is what I have for you, Cancer. Good luck. Bye.